Hello and welcome to How Do I Do That? The web series where I ask accomplished people how I can get a piece of the action. I'm here with a very accomplished person, personal hero of mine, George Tolles, my father. He has written screenplays with the award-winning filmmaker Guy Madden. He has become a distinguished professor of film and he is a member of the Royal Society of Canada. So Dad, my first question is how do I do that? And how do I do it quickly? Well, if time machines existed, I think you'd have a much easier road ahead. I mean, there was still a humanities tradition, mm -hmm. and there were many jobs back then, though maybe not quite as many as people think. So if your circumstances duplicated mine in the mm. 1970s, I would say. And of course they don't. Uh, we come from different generations. I'm yeah. a millennial, you're yeah. a Gen Xer raised I, on the Breakfast or, Club. Or as the head of North Korea might describe me, a dotard. Let's, let's avoid that topic if possible. So your first piece of advice is that the field which you have dominated for your entire life has been destroyed coincidentally during your domination of it. So can yeah. I hold you at all responsible for the failure of the humanities? Um, I'd like to think I've done my share. Of damage? Yes. I'd like to think that too. Yes. Uh, you go into a classroom and you think, I'm really going to excite students, maybe change their attitudes, maybe even their lives a little, but uh, when you walk out at the end of the day, I think a lot of faces suggest strongly that the fields you're passionate about are emphatically not for them. So what I'm hearing is that despite all of your accomplishments, the work that you do and the things that you love are existing in a virtually apocalyptic zone where there is no appreciation, no pleasure. Uh, and so I really shouldn't want what you have because it's a living nightmare. Well, post-apocalyptic scenarios, as many movies suggest, are not altogether bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's still some action there amidst the rubble and the screaming and mm. the despair. There are a couple of other advantages to an apocalypse as well, the first of which is that I might be dead. Um, do you think that it has posed a significant challenge to me uh, to have been brought up in a household with such a successful father who's sort of indoctrinated me into the same exact things that he's interested in and so even if I were to achieve a modicum of success, I would always feel that I was living in your shadow. Do you think that that's held me back at all? Possibly, mm -hmm. but you know the song, Me and My Shadow, it's about the possibility of a close relationship between a substantial human being. Right. like yourself. Like myself, and the shadow who, like, me. like it or not, like you, follows mm -hmm. and imitates and duplicates a little darkly, mm -hmm. but basically gets the moves and lessens uh, the sadness and load of the, mm -hmm. of the real person. Great. Well, that may be all that I have to hope for. Oh, pick a card. Is this a trick? You can keep that. Okay. I gave you something for a change. I'll remember it. 